Break on that beat, gon' pray. Angler unit people in the house. What's going on today? Um, so what we're going to do is a not quick tackle warehouse unboxing because I don't know the meaning of those. Uh, I always think they're going to be quick and then I go for like half an hour, 40 minutes. So hang in there with me. We all love unboxing videos. You know you love them. I know I love them. So let's just see how long it takes for me to get through this. Uh, this is sort of a prequel to the next video I'll be filming, which is another deep dive video where we go into a entire lineup of baits and we study all of their uh, colors up close. And you can see the last one that I did, um, which was the baby structure jig, which was the, uh, the last one that I did where we just looked at every single colorway in that jig. Um, so I got a new lineup of jigs in this unboxing that we're going to look at deep, deep, deep up close and in color and in 4K. So I'm not going to unpackage them right now to show them to you because that's the next video. So this is just a simple unboxing. Okay, let's get into it. All right. So we got two boxes here from good old Tackle Warehouse. Um, I'm just a sucker for them. And the reason being uh selection and ease of use but mostly it's because i have curated wish lists on there and not just wish lists but i have curated lists of all the tackle i use and i have them all categorized so when i'm out of terminal tackle i can go right in there hit terminal tackle and whatever i have every weight and every hook and uh that i use so i can just go in there and be like i need some of these i need some of those and i don't have to go through the whole website looking for the things. It's like everything that I've ever bought is in a wish list. So I have a wish list of jerk baits, a wish list of uh, jigs, one of jig trailers, small swim baits, medium sized swim baits, uh, blade baits, um, you name it. All right, so let's dig in. Now they sent this, um, wasn't that big of an order, but they sent it in two boxes. So. It is what it is. So let's see what we got what we got in this first one. I don't know why I couldn't have all gotten put in uh, one box, but all right. So the uh, subject matter for the next video is gonna be the Beast Coast Hustler Hybrid Jig. So that's the first part. I mean, that's what I'm seeing a lot of in this box. So Beast Coast Hustler Hybrid. Uh, what I did is I bought it in every single color, uh, all of them in the uh, 3 8 ounce. So I'm going to do a video and we're going to look at every single color up close so you can, because some of this, the colors in this lineup are real similar. So this will be a great resource, this next video, where you could say, I'm going to get some hybrid hustlers. What do they look like? Because a lot of them just look like they have like brown marabou on them. So we're going to really study them and break them down because I only use uh, two two colors. Um, so this is the one that I do use, Elite Craw. Okay, so I got that. I got, uh, and they might be broken up between the two boxes. Dirt Craw, right? Uh, let's see, what else did we pick up? So this is one I never use, Thunder Shad. So I'm actually just looking at it right now, I'm really impressed because the, the flash they put in these is sick. I mean, this company makes uh, some of the best uh, skirt colors and I think really they haven't tapped their potential yet. Um, I just love their attention to detail. Like, I think this is, this, this is an up and coming um, contender that could come out and uh, swinging and really kick the, the industry's ass. Stealth Craw. Um, so that's another one that uh, I've actually had before. All right, in this box, I've got more of my favorite all around, all purpose jigs. I got the Denny Brower Structure Jig. This is the half ounce model with the four aught hook. And uh, I don't know what color I got here. It's probably just their green pumpkin, if I know me. Uh, the Baby Structure Jig, again, in green pumpkin, because I can't, you know, this is like my 
this is like my worm. Um, I just, I love them. Uh, ba -ba and then I got the, the big five aught, um, three quarter ounce structure jig. So this one's got a big beefy five aught hook in it. So this is basically what I use to flip. So the half ounce I use for, the half ounce with the four aught I use for pitching. The uh, three quarter ounce with the five aught hook I use for flipping. And then the baby structure jig I use for casting open water, um, not um, pretty much like water visibility, like three feet and greater. So anything from like greater than 20 feet visibility down to about three or four feet of visibility, baby structure jig is my confidence jig. Um, so, and it's a finesse jig with a two aught hook. The Beast Coast Hybrid Hustler is also a finesse jig with a, uh, a compact three aught hook. And um, I use it in the same situations as the baby structure jig, except um, when I know, like if I, like the baby structure jig, I'm, I have more confidence in it when I don't know the size of the fish I'm dealing with and I'm not really sure where they are yet. If I think I've located them, then I like the hybrid hustler for uh, a little bit of upsizing. And the reason I don't get it in a quarter ounce and I go with the three eighth ounce is it has the marabou on it. And um, it slows the fall a little bit. So I just go up an eighth of an ounce to get it to have the same fall rate as a quarter ounce finesse jig. So again, this is like uh, the, the baby structure jig, I'll use it sometimes with vertical cover and mostly with horizontal cover. The same thing, another finesse jig that I love with the Hybrid Hustler, I'll use it more with vertical cover where I know they are and not as much as horizontal cover, if that makes sense. Um, what else did I get here? Uh, one other baby structure jig in the, um, I think it's the Blue Craw. So like, I just can't have enough of these. I mean, these this is like my Texas rigged worm. Um, more, as you know, I'm a big Picasso guy. More of the Picasso tungsten worm weights here. Uh, and I can never have enough of these because uh, when I do need an easy keeper, because every rod that I buy uh, never comes with a hook keeper. So I, I buy a lot of these and um, they're always out of purple and purple's my color because of my, uh, my late mother, uh, God rest her soul. So purple was her jam. So purple is my jam on all of my uh, accoutrements whenever I can. So I got a bunch of those. I just keep them in my day bag. And when I get a new rod, um, I've already got an easy keeper to go right on it because I hate things that don't have hook keepers. So let's open up the next box here and see what we got. Uh, and there goes the air conditioning. So I'm gonna go turn that off right now. So let's dig into the second, second box here. So uh, another Tatula 3000 in the CHX. Um, I'm a Tatula guy. I just think it's the right tier reel for me. It's, um, you know, I tend to turn over equipment. I don't want to say quickly. Like, I'll keep, if a reel is really good, no pun intended, I'll keep it like five years. And if a rod's really a special rod, you know, five years, but you know, as an angler and a tackle junkie, like there's a point where even if the rod and reel are amazing, like you just, you want the new toy and you sell the old stuff. So, you know, my stuff doesn't really make it past five years. So I don't, I don't go bananas with my purchases. I'm sort of like an upper mid grades kind of guy because I bank fish, a lot of stuff goes in and out of the car constantly. Um, the only time I fish from a boat is when someone invites me. So I'm always sort of carrying a lot of rods and, um, you know, I don't have like a boat locker where I can just stash a whole bunch of $500 rods with, uh, equipped with like, you know, steezes on them. I just, I feel better knowing that, um, you know, God forbid something does happen to my gear that it's not like 
the most insane stuff on the market. So I just try to go a little bit, uh, a little bit above mid grades. Um, so I don't know, not much to see here. Um, you know, just your usual Tatula. Everybody's seen these everywhere on the interwebs. Don't need to really go into that. I just needed uh, another one. I uh, could never have enough of those. So what else do we have in here? Okay, so this is the OSP Doe Live Beaver. Um, and this is a good uh, thing for me to talk about right now. Um, so I use uh, basically, I, I guess, yeah, I use about five jigs. So I use the Denny Brower structure jigs. I use the baby, the four aught, and the five aught. So the five aught is for flipping. The four aught for me is for uh, pitching. And the baby is sort of my open water finessier version. And then I use two other finesse jigs. I use a uh, Picasso um, finesse football and a, um, uh, the, the Beast Coast um, Hybrid Hustler. Sorry, I don't know why I was blanking on the names. So um, on all of my finesse jigs, I use two trailers and I keep it really simple. So those finesse jigs, those three that I just mentioned, I use those summer, spring, win uh, fall, winter. Um, I use them all four seasons and I use two trailers and I use those two trailers all four seasons. So the, the jig and the trailer, the finesse jig and the finesse trailer that I use in um, June is the same finesse jig and or trailer that I use in January. So I use two trailers. I use a four inch or a five inch Yamamoto uh, double tail grub, usually the four inch on the finesse stuff, but on the finesse footballs, I will go to a five inch. Um, and this, this is the Doe Live Beaver from OSP. Um, I've been using OSP's hard baits, I wanna say at least 10 years now. Um, I got turned on to them uh, by Tackle Tour ages ago. Um, and their hard baits are amazing. And I haven't started, I just started using their soft baits maybe in the last couple years. So those are the two trailers I use. If I want to replicate a, a bait fish or just I don't know what they're eating, I go with the twin tail grub. If I know I'm going after um, crawfish eaters or crayfish eaters, I grew up saying crayfish and then Someone corrupted me into crawfish, and I don't know why. That really bothers me because my whole life I went to the creek to catch crayfish. So I don't know why I say crawfish now. Um, yeah, so I just got it in the uh, the brown with blue flake. Uh, you've seen these before. I did an unboxing where I got the three inch version of these for Ned rigs and micro finesse jigs. Um, so, you know, sleep on this one, okay? Just leave these for me. Don't. Don't, don't get this trailer and don't use these, okay? Leave them for me and leave them for people that know what's going on in fishing, okay? You don't need these, okay? You don't need their great colors or their completely unique action or what makes them such amazing baits. So ignore those. Um, there's not much here. I mean, it's, it's just fun. It's more of the hybrid hustlers in all the colors. I don't even know if I'm gonna go through the colors right here, but whole bunch of uh, hybrid hustlers. You know, I made sure that I got every color for you guys so that we can do every color in the deep dive. Um, so more hybrid hustlers, more hybrid hustlers. And um, I also got the uh, smallmouth crush um, football head jig because I wanted to, I'm not too happy with my Kai Tech. Uh, finesse football jig. So I wanted to try someone else's finesse football jig. Another hybrid hustler. We're going to have fun with this. Um, some more spider wire stealth camo braid. Now you're going to laugh because you're like spider wire. That's like, you know, four strand um, Walmart braid. But uh, I grew up 
And by grew up, I mean like I was fishing spider wire in the very early 90s. And this, I don't think this is the best braid on the market, okay? I don't. Um, it's solid. It keeps its color awesome. It's camo. I love... I mean, you guys know I love camo. I mean, I have camo rods from Evergreen. It's just, I'm a camo guy. I've, I've liked it since I was like 10. I always rock in camo hats. I'm just, I love it. Um, so yeah, I get it because it's camo and I get it because it's sentimental because it's spider wire and it's what I use on all of my spinning outfits. So all of my spinning outfits, all three of them have uh, 10 pound camo braid to uh, eight pound or six pound um, Seaguar Tatsu. Uh, Seaguar Tatsu is my leader. So I know some people are like, why don't you use gold label and go with the, uh, the, um, the slightly stiffer leader material. I just, I don't know, I like the Tatsu and that stuff is so freaking expensive, but I'm only using it as a leader. So I go with this braid on everything for all my spinning outfits have this braid on them. And then that's, I use the Tatsu for the, uh, for my leader material and everything. So yeah, that's it. That was easy. Um, I thought I'd go way longer and bore you a lot more. So, um, that's today's unboxing. Um, you know, some fun stuff in there. It's always nice getting a reel. Uh, the next video that I'll be filming will be an up close and personal with the Beast Coast Hybrid Hustler. We're gonna dive deep. You guys, when you're done that video, you're gonna be like, oh my God, I know what they look like up close. I know, are those brown marabous that I see in photos online, are they all the same brown marabou? Well, we're gonna find out. So that's what that whole series, the whole deep dive series is about finding out the subtle, like what do these colors really look like? So that when you go to order them, you're not trying to figure it out when you're on the website. You're just like, I know which colors I want and I know what to buy and you're not wasting any money. So that's my service to you. Uh, thanks for being here today. Can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Have an awesome day.